Hi guys, Lisa Laurie here and I'm back with another video. This is a story time and I'm not really sure what, sh what day I'm going to post this yet. If either of you can do it as a story time Saturday or a week or Wednesday. I don't know. I'll decide later. But I don't know why I told you guys all that. Whatever. <laughs> so whatever day you're seeing this, either you'll be seeing this either Wednesday or Saturday. Anyways, so a few weeks ago, probably about three weeks ago, I had a liver ablation. That's where they go in and they stick like a needle in my, my liver on the side. Actually, I have no idea. No, it's on the side. <laughs> Tells you how much I know about the, the body's anatomy. Anyways, so they stick a, like a needle and they stick it into my liver. I have like some lesions on my liver and occasionally some of them will turn cancerous. And they usually catch it early because they monitor me with MRIs like every three months. So the doctor will go in, the liver specialist doctor, um, he goes in with a needle and like kills just that, just those, that lesion and like um, the ablation, he shoots it, that, that, um, that lesion, that cancerous lesion with some chemo and just like, just like a direct target. Kind of like if you're going to like aiming for like, kind of like when you, if you do archery, you aim for the target or shooting or whatever. You just go right to that, to, to the target. Um, so yeah, so, and I'm usually, I'm really good with anesthesia. I don't. When I had my wisdom teeth taken out, I didn't have any weird reaction to it. I didn't wake up and like say anything weird. I felt pretty normal. I always feel pretty normal when I wake up from anesthesia. But this isn't an experience of me waking up. This was an under experience, an under anesthesia experience. So, and usually I don't remember when I was, usually I don't have any weird memories when, when I wake up from being under anesthesia. I don't, um, remember anything I don't have I don't have any weird experiences under anesthesia but this time I had a really weird experience so I woke up and I remembered that I had visited heaven I don't know if I I don't think they didn't say I coded or anything during the procedure so I'm pretty sure I didn't like code or die or any die briefly or anything but I do know I visited heaven I remember it clearly and if you've seen my, vi my video about my spirit guide um you know that I have a connection with Rachel, Rachel Jones from Waco. Um, and I remember being in heaven, sitting with her. She didn't say anything to me, and I didn't say anything to her. We just we just sat together and it was almost like but it was it was comforting sitting with her. It wasn't like awkward or anything. It was comforting, like she was just sitting with me, kind of um, like kinda of like saying, like, hey, it's it's all gonna be okay with without any words, just from her presence. And that's that's how, pretty much how her connection with me feels all the time. I feel her like she's always sitting with me, but this was this was more real. This was, it, literally, I was in heaven with her and I have no idea, I can't explain it. Um, I actually talked about it on my TikTok, um, but I'm not gonna get into that because I'm explaining it here. And so I woke up and I remembered it and. The thing was, as strong as the connections I had with her, when I woke up after that experience, week after I woke up from the anesthesia, I felt an even stronger connection with her. And I actually tested it too when, when I was in the hospital, because when I was still in the hospital, they usually keep me a few, a few hours after the procedure anyways. Um, so when I was still in the hospital, I actually tested the how strong the connection was, because usually um, when my connection is just normal and not in, enhanced from an experience like that where I sat with her in heaven but usually I it's just a, it's just like a physical feeling I can't actually like talk to her um and so since the connection was so strong I decided to try to talk to her and I didn't say much because I was just testing it. I didn't think it was any gonna amount to anything so I just said like hi and I called her name and I actually like audibly heard her like literally hurt her and I'll explain that in a sec. This might be a really long video. And I said I told her I love her and she said she loved me. I'm gonna get really emotional talking about this. But back to the audibly the hearing her audibly thing. The reason I know it was her voice is because when I first felt the connection to her from looking at her picture and I was doing research and watching the Inside Mount Carmel videos, there's a portion of it where she's not on camera. Um, there's a couple portions of it actually where she's not on camera and she says something in the background. The, um, 
the, it's very soft. Her voice is very soft. She doesn't have a very loud voice. It's very soft. And you can barely hear her. You, you can barely hear the voice. You can barely hear it, but if you turn the volume all the way up, you can hear it. It's just everyone else's voices are really, really loud. Um, but I immediately recognized her voice, not seeing her on camera and not having heard her voice before. I recognized her voice. I was like, oh, that's Rach. And yeah, so that's, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to share my experience of, oh, I probably should share more about what heaven was like. I actually don't remember much of heaven. I remember it was very white, very, I mean, I remember what I saw of it at least was very white. It was just really, really white, like being in like a white room, like everything was white around me, like, but like angelic white, like bright white, very, very bright. Um, it was very peaceful, very calming, very serene, um, very happy. It, there's, there was no sadness. I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel scared or anything. And yeah, just very, very peaceful. So yeah. Um, bye guys. Hope you guys enjoy.